Thanks. Um, the Alcuberry warp metric and other ones require exotic matter. Uh -huh. How? And so I presume if you're trying to make some kind of Alcuberry thing on the optical bench with this interferometer, are, are you uh, trying to make exotic matter in your test article, which you didn't say very much about? Yeah, or so what's that, going on with that test yeah. article, and why should it? be an Alcubarre like yeah. effect. Yeah, so the low fidelity test article is trying to create a blue shifted frame relative to the uh, relative to the lab. So we're just using a large potential energy with our low fidelity test articles. The higher fidelity test article that I showed you guys a picture of, that is based on the Q thruster physics. And so it's that's where we go through and we work on using the uh, negative vacuum energy to try and satisfy all the explicit requirements of the, the field equations. So that test article is trying to establish more accurately the, the requirements uh, as set up by the mathematics, working with negative vacuum energy, Casimir force. Oh, am I off? OK. But uh, maybe we could take this offline if it's too technical. But uh, E fields, B fields, the kind of things you get inside of a resonant cavity yeah. or with capacitors yeah, so the, and coils are all, then none of those are exotic matter. Those are yeah. all just standard mass energy, not the kind that you need for the Alcubarre metric, yeah. which has the opposite sign, which no one well, knows how I, to make. Let me answer your question. Right, so and we had some of this discussion actually yesterday in your office. We were talking about uh, the, some of the, the Q thruster <laughs> physics. Um, so in terms of uh, uh, the Q thruster physics, we're not just looking at classical E and M. We're talking about what that potentially does in the quantum vacuum based on the, the physics models associated with the Q thruster physics. So the Q thruster physics, it potentially provides a connection to uh, a perturbed state in the quantum vacuum. So yes, just the pure E and M fields by the classical sense, they're really not of interest. What's of interest to us is what does that mean when we look at it from the Q thruster physics perspective. So that's the only reason why there's interest in that. Okay, so let me see if I understand this. If you just had the E and B fields, yeah. you would expect no exotic effect. But if you have these dielectrics or whatever inside of it so that you're getting this strong coupling, then maybe you would see you, an you exotic made, effect? You made too strong of a statement. I think that there's, in the process of exploring what Q thruster physics means for uh, the magnitude of E and B fields and how that might be coupled to what, what's potentially going on in the quantum vacuum. Uh, uh, in, in principle, right, uh, you have to have the right conditions to get uh, a, uh, the magnitude of an effect that you can measure. Uh, but you're, you're, you were too general with your statement, so I can't agree with you completely with that. I, I, anyway, maybe, okay, maybe, thank you. 